I am Iris Choi of Hebian School, and I am the winner of Fiction Group 4 and also the Hong Kong Young Writer of the Year 2019. Young Writers has always been a part of my childhood. Um, I started joining this competition when I was in primary three, and I've been I've always been joining this competition every year, and it's also developed my understanding of Chinese history in general, and it also it has also helped me um, to hone my uh, writing skills. I think that um, when I st when, so when I won. Um, in, 2000, in the 2019 um, young, Hong Kong Young Writers. I was thrilled, actually. It was, wow, it was one of the best moments of my life. Um, it was very surreal, especially since I'd always only been shortlisted, so I wasn't really expecting much um, this time. I think what was, what was really the reason for this is because I really tried to develop my writing skills. I worked really hard at writing, and especially story writing, um, during my summer holiday. And it's helped me to um, come to my come to. Uh, it's helped to push me, and I was probably at my best when I wrote this story of Zheng He. Uh, and what is so beneficial about joining a writing, a writing competition is that the topic isn't always something that you are necessarily familiar with, and it's not something that you know about. It might not even be a topic that you're interested in, and that is when research has to come in. When you do research, you have to you start up, you sort of get an understanding, and you sort of delve deeper into that topic in general. And you always realize that there is always an interesting bit um, that will always interest you and attract you. Something that's good to spin off on in yours in when you're writing a story about that particular time period or a theme. And I think that's what's so beneficial about a writing competition because you sort of explore different, different perspectives and different things within themes that you're interested in. And you can sort of develop that. And that is also is what hones your imagination. When you're composing a piece of writing, the most important thing, I think, is to get a hold of the background of the time period of which you're, in which you're writing. So, for example, this year we had Zheng He, so we had to understand the background of his life and the environment in which he was living in. So, Zheng He was kidnapped from a very young age, and he was sent to work as a slave. Um, so we had to really, so once you've got a hold of that lifestyle and you get start to understand the personal side of Zheng He and once you've got the personal side, that's when a character can be developed. It doesn't really matter because we've got, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's inaccurate, especially because um, the time period we were writing in was really distant and the facts are pretty hard to nail down. So once we've got Zheng He, we can spin his character and we can build on it. And that's when you've got emotions and that is what I think really makes a writing better. Because you've got the character and if the story is about your character, then you've got these emotions and you can really understand how that person influences things that happen around him. And that's how you develop the plot as well.